Hey, what's up everyone? Back with another roster update prediction video. This one's going to be a little bit different than the last ones. I have not had time to make the graphics that I normally do for my overlays during my videos showing all the stats. I unfortunately had a family emergency. My mother had a stroke. So I really not have not had the time to put any effort into YouTube over the past uh, five or six days. But I have a little time now and I'm going to do a quick video on players that I did not cover last week that have been having a really good last week as well as the last uh, two weeks and just uh, the whole year in a whole right now and are most more than likely going to be upgraded. So let's hop into it. So the first guy on our list this week to possibly get upgraded to a 90 overall, but more than likely an 89 overall is Will Smith. Will Smith is having an absolutely fantastic season and his attributes are still kind of low for everything that he's been doing so far this year. I'm not expect expecting massive upgrades, but I am expecting enough upgrades to get him at least one more tier. Let's take a look at his statistics. So we look at his year to date stats right here. Will Smith is hitting 317, 412 on base percentage and a 962 OPS. Now when we scroll down here to his last 15 games, he's a 340 batting average with a 448 on base and a 566 slugging for an OPS over a thousand in the last two weeks. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting 342, which is better than his overall stats. So his clutch should be able to get a nice boost as well. Although his clutch attribute is actually pretty decent. We look at Will's lefty and righty splits this year. He is only hitting 231 against lefties, but he has have a 500 slugging and 882 OPS uh, overall. So I do think that he's gonna get a little rework against his lefties we'll look at his attributes in a second against lefties i think he's going to actually get a decrease in contact but an increase in power but we look at him against right and he's torching righty righties this year at a 340 batting average with a 421 on base a 564 slugging for a 985 ops which is absolutely elite especially for a catcher so he should be getting an increase in at least contact versus right and possibly power versus right as well as he's having a ton of extra base hits. Quick little interruption. If you're finding the video helpful, of course, hit that subscribe button. The like button helps the channel grow a ton. But one more thing, if you did not catch my last videos, my last two videos from last week, my early predictions, and you haven't seen those players yet, go check out those videos. The link will be in the description. Let's get back to the video. Evan Phillips is having an absolutely fantastic start to the year. I was actually surprised he did not go up to an 85 overall in the last update. But he does not need much to go up. As you can see, I have him parallel one right here, which adds a plus one to every stat. And a plus one to every stat is going to put him at an 85 overall. So there isn't much that needs to be done to him to increase his overall. So I do feel it's going to be a pretty easy upgrade here. Let's go take a look at his statistics so I can show you why I think he's going to be upgraded. So Phillips on the year is a 1.89 ERA, which does not correlate with anything, but it's still a good thing to look at. And then we look, he's got 24 strikeouts and 19 innings pitch, which isn't amazing for a relief pitcher, but it's still over a K per nine. So I don't think his Ks are actually going to be, Ks per nine are going to be touched all that much since he does have an 83 Ks per nine. And that's kind of from, if you base it on other players, kind of where that's going to work out, that attribute in, in terms of his statistics here. But his whip is very, very low. He's not giving up many hits. He's also not walking many guys. His hits per nine are already pretty high at a 94 that may not be touched. If we go down, we look at his stats for the year so far. He's only given up 11 hits as well as five walks in 19 innings pitch. It's a fantastic ratio. And I do believe he's going to at least get an increase in his walks per nine since he has not really been walking that many batters. But more than likely, he's going to get a small bump to hits per nine also. And he doesn't really need much, like I said, to be able to pump his overall up at all. So another thing that I don't think a lot of people have been looking at in terms of roster updates is the scoring runners in scoring position. So this is what's going to affect the pitching clutch. Hitters are hitting 0.67 off him and he has a 0.19 whip. 0.19 whip with runners in scoring position. Now he does have a 91 pitching clutch, but based upon these stats, it should bump up quite a bit. And he has 5.5 and a third innings pitched with runners in scoring position. So it's a pretty decent sample size. So I do think pitching clutch is gonna go up as well. And I believe Evan Phillips will go up to at least an 85 overall. Now, Bo Bichette is an interesting one. People have been asking about me in my comments section for weeks now. What do they think about Bo Bichette being upgraded? Now, we look right here for him to get upgraded to an 85 overall. 
he's gonna need a plus 10 in contact for his right and a plus 10 against power versus right now could he get a plus 10 versus right very possible could he get a plus 10 versus contact versus left very possible i'm not so sure if he's gonna get a plus 10 in either of the powers though let's take a look at the statistics here all right so let's take a look at bo's stats on the year so far he's hit 327 336 on base and 871 ops which is better than his career averages which means there's more he's more than likely going to get a little boost but let's see where we think he's going to actually get that boost when we look at his splits his last two weeks, he's hitting about what he's hitting on the year, a little bit over an 800 OPS batting average in the on base and the slugging, or actually even the slugging is not displayed here. We can do the quick maths in our head, and they're about where he is on the year. So not a big deal looking at that. But let's scroll down to his left versus right splits. I believe his right-handed stats are actually pretty good with his attributes. His contact versus right is a 99, and his power is 71. I think that's that's pretty fair. But when we look at the lefties is where he's going to get a, an increase. So is it possible he gets a plus 10 to contact versus left and power versus left? Absolutely. He has a 364 batting average, 391 on base, and a 636 slugging percentage for a 1027 OPS, which is absolutely elite. The thing about Bo, though, is that what holds him back often is his defense. His defense is very poor in the game. Let's take a look at that. His defense is very poor in the game. They have him at a 50 fielding, 64 arm, 42 accuracy, a 52 reaction. It's And his speed's not good either. With a 57 speed, 46 steal, 75 base running aggressiveness, there's not really uh, much on the defense to hold him up. So it's possible he does not go to a diamond, but it is also possible that he does. He's not a card I'm investing a ton into, but I have packed a few of them and I'm holding on to him for the update. One other quick thing that we can look at here is his his stats with runners in scoring position where he's hitting 366 with a 395 on base a 634 slugging and a 1029 ops which is very very similar to his stats against lefties so right now his clutch is actually at a hundred and that actually might be able to be boosted up to whatever i think his contact versus left is going to be boosted up so if his clutch also gets updated to maybe a 110 overall then there's actually a really good chance that he might go diamond now, again, let's go take a look at how much he's currently going for. He's currently going for 2,000 stubs. You can get him for a little over 1750 or 1750 pretty much exactly. You can you can buy him for. So it's a little bit of a risk because if he only gets upgraded to an 84 overall, you're going to lose stubs. But if he does get upgraded to obviously an 85 overall, you have a lot of stubs to gain. So am I going to be pers a lot of stubs into this card right now? probably not i actually just bought the mickey mantle card so i'm only down to 10k stubs right now because i've already invested uh 700 000 into this new update coming up so i may not be doing that much more investing in the next in the upcoming days but i don't think he's that large of a risk overall brian abreu is having an absolutely fantastic season right now a 1.14 era 23 and two-thirds innings pitch he's at 38 k's over that as well as only an 850 whip over his last 15 games and 16 innings pitch he's only given up seven hits He's walked three guys and he has 25 Ks with a .63 whip. He has absolutely disgusting numbers so far on the year. Now, when we look at his stats against runners in scoring position, they're even better. He's a .50 batting average against as well as a .30 whip in six and two thirds innings. That pitching clutch is gonna go up as well. So let's go take a look at his attributes. Now, if we take a look at his attributes, his 95 hits per nine, 96 Ks per nine, and 95 pitching clutch. I think he's gonna get upgraded in all three of those attributes by at least a little bit, probably to bring him up to 100 over all of those. But the big one that he's going to get upgraded in is that walks per nine. Now, if we look at his year to date here, I scrolled down from walks. It's not like he's not walking anybody. Eight walks in 23 and two thirds innings isn't amazing by any means, but it doesn't water into a 42 walks per nine like he already has as well as only a 67 control so i do believe he is going to be get a massive upgrade and he's going to get upgraded to an 85 overall at the very least cedric mullins has really turned around his season he's been absolutely fantastic for the past month but really the last two weeks the game has pretty much been supercharging him over and over again because of how well he is playing and if you look at his attributes here they're all very low his highest hitting attribute in terms of contact or power is a 67 which is contact versus left he's gonna get a big boost across the board in his hitting stats and his defense is decent enough where it's not gonna hold him back too much 
and I believe he is going to be able to get upgraded to an 85 overall. So let's look at his statistics on the year so far, especially the last two weeks, so I can justify why this card is going to go up to an 85 overall. Also, he's been a diamond player before. SDS has loved him over the past couple of years, so I do believe he is going to go up. Let's take a look at those stats. So Cedric is sitting 275 on the year with eight home runs, 39 RBIs, 13 steals, and an 864 OPS. Now, if we look at his OPS over the past two weeks or just his stats over the past two weeks he's a 328 batting average the 361 on base percentage and a 672 slugging percentage so right now his ops over the last two weeks is over 1100 he's doing absolutely fantastic things and i do think you should jump on him let's take a look at his splits against lefties on the air he's saying 255 with a 349 on base and a 473 slug for an 822 ops and his stats are his attributes are significantly lower than that across the board. Maybe his contact will stay the same, but they're definitely going to boost him up in some power. And then we look at right, he's seeing 283 with a 364 on base, a 520 slug, and an 884 OPS. For a center fielder, these are pretty darn elite numbers, and he doesn't have one attribute over 70. So he's going to get a nice bump, even if he only gets bumps to increase the ones that are in the 50s to the 60s and the 60s to the 70s he should be able to go diamond because the rest of his attributes are pretty good let's scroll down to scoring position with runners in scoring position he's hitting 442 556 on base and 814 slugging percentage and a 1.370 ops that is absolutely crazy expect his clutch to get a nice jump even though it's already a 92 overall I'm expecting that clutch to jump up quite a bit because he's a 442 batting average to go along with that 1370 OPS. Off on steady now. Josh Lowe, Josh Lau, I don't know how he pronounces it. I know his teammate is Brandon Lau, or is that the one from Texas? I don't know. Josh Lowe or Lau, you'd let me know in the comment section how he pronounces his name. Is more than likely going to get a nice attribute upgrade. His attributes are extremely low, especially against lefties here. But uh, he's got decent speed. He's got okay fielding. So he's been tearing the cover off the ball the last two weeks. Go, let's go take a look at his stats. So overall in the season, he's hitting 307 with 11 dingers, 34 RBIs, 9 stolen bases, and a 983 OPS. Over the last 15 games, he has a 288 batting average, 339 on base, and a 635 slugging. So his OPS is just around 1,000 over the past two weeks to go along. Pretty much matches up with his stats on the year. Let's go take a look at his splits. Now, his splits against left look much better in the power department they do in the contact department. That's absolutely okay. He's got a 267 batting average, a 389 on base, a 533 slugging percentage for a 922 OPS. And against righties, he's got a 312 batting average, a 358 on base, 632 slugging, which is disgusting, for an overall 990 OPS. This is from a center fielder. Remember, they don't need much in terms of their hitting to get upgraded as long as their defense is okay. And his defense is okay overall, especially his arm strength is holding him up quite a bit. All right, now let's look how he's doing with runners in scoring position. He's hitting 371 with a 421 on base percentage, a 657 slugging for an overall 1078 OPS. Let's go take a look at his attributes real quick. Now we take a look at his attributes. You can see he has a lot of room for improvement here. So I do feel he's going to get upgraded against contact versus right as well as power versus right i think contact versus left will probably get a small increase power versus left will get a nice increase and we're talking about how amazing he's been with runners in scoring position well my man's over here has a 56 clutch so that's going to probably get a big boost overall as well now you see he has a plus nine for contact versus right and power and that brings him from a 77 to a 79 overall but we do know he's also going to get upgraded get his stats against lefties as well as his clutch and then they might even touch things like like vision or discipline as well i didn't really dive into his strikeouts or his walks all that much we're just looking at the overall picture here but all his stats all his hitting stats are pretty low across the board with the exception of contact versus right which is okay so joshy over here could probably get an upgrade to uh gold i think relatively easily i bought a bunch of him when he was pretty darn cheap he's pretty cheap right now so you can make a nice uh, profit by investing in Joshi right now. Now we do have a couple bronze cards I want to talk about here. It doesn't mean they're going to go gold this week, but they have a chance maybe going gold on the next update. But who knows? SDS has been doing some interesting things with their three-week sample sizes where they've been giving large increases or decreases to players. So you never know that Seiya Suzuki might actually be able to get upgraded to a gold, although I'm thinking more of a high silver. But 
I've been investing in him. I bought over 150 of them at like 80 stubs. Now he's going for 122 stubs. I still think he's a decent investment at this point. Let's go take a look at his statistics. So on the season, Suzuki is hitting 285, six home runs, 19 RBIs with an 873 OPS. Let's go look at his complete stats. Now we can see over the past week, he's been doing fantastic things, but we're going to look at a, a larger sample size here at his last 15 games. He's hit 327 with a 433 on base and a 735 slugging. He has an OPS over 1100, over 1150. Over the last two weeks, he's absolutely scorching the ball, and his attributes absolutely stink in the game. So not only does he have great stats on the season here with 873, he's also performing his career totals, which is only two seasons, but his career totals by quite a bit. So let's go look at his uh, splits. Against lefties, he's hitting 400 with a 462 on base, a 543 slugging, and a 10.005 or 10.05. OPS on the season. Now, he does have a 78 contact against left, but uh, 400 uh, warrants a lot better than uh, 78 in the uh, sample size that he has. So I believe that is going to get a nice little bump, not a crazy bump because it's still relatively early in the season. You know, I haven't seen that many lefties yet, but should warrant a pretty darn good uh, bump there as well to his power because he's a 543 slugging percentage. So let's go against right here. Right, he's not doing as hot. 242 batting average, 342 on base, 484 slugging, but a respectable overall 826 OPS. So, so his on base percentage is very, very high. He's been walking a lot. So I do expect him to get a nice bump to his discipline because it's only at a 63. And actually, let's see how many strikeouts he has. On. He does have 37 strikeouts and 130 at bats. That's not terrible compared to the rest of the league is actually pretty good pretty decent compared to the rest of the league but overall he's going to more than likely get a nice upgrade maybe not to gold this week if we take a look at his attributes maybe not to gold this week but probably to a high silver because he should get upgraded across the board in the majority of his hitting stats oh we did forget to look at his clutch so let's go take a look at that real quick so his clutch right here is a 65 overall let's see how he's doing his runners in scoring position with runners in scoring position he's hitting 300 with 383 batting average 525 slugging and a 908 OPS. So a little bit better than he's doing when runners are not in scoring position. So because of that, his clutch should probably also get a nice upgrade. I think Suzuki has a, a real outside chance of going gold, but more than likely he's going to be upgraded to a high silver and possibly to a gold on the next roster update if he continues to play well. So I think he's a nice early investment for now. So Christopher Morel is absolutely the hottest hitter in baseball. Uh, like it says right here, extended his home run streak to five consecutive games on Tuesday. Like he's been absolutely filthy this year <laughs> he's only a 72 overall and his but his defense is a silver so that's one thing to look at and his career stats so far hitting wise are really really good as well so let's go take a look at his stats and i'm not positive he's gonna get upgraded to a gold but he's probably gonna get upgraded at least to a high silver he's currently going for 545 which might be a little expensive because it's 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 higher than what an 80 overall quick sell value is so I was actually flipping this card and making a ton of stubs on it. I haven't really invested in it for a long term because his price is just way too high right now. But it might be a good card to flip. So keep that in mind. Or if you really think he's going to get upgraded, some massive upgrade because he's been like doing historic things in the past uh, two weeks, then, uh, you know, by all means, invest in him. But let's take a look at his statistics. So, so far in 53 at bats, this guy is hitting 358 with nine dingers, 15 RBIs, one steal and a 1318 OPS. Now his career OPS is really good on an 811, but it's not 1318. Let's look at his complete stats for the year. Now we look at his last 15 games and that's pretty much just like what he's done the entire uh the entire year so far, which is, you know, pretty much just right here this 1318 OPS. So we don't have to look anything but that because that's his year total so far, but man is he absolutely wrecking the ball. Let's go take a look at his splits. Now against lefties, he's hitting 300 with a 364 on base, 700 slugging, and a 1064 OPS, like godly. But against right, 372, 400, 977, and a 1377 OPS. Like these are beyond video. These are like, you know, Barry Bond stretch kind of numbers. Like it, they're that kind of ridiculous. So they may give him, they just may give him a massive update 
a massive upgrade if he continues to play like this over the next like five days or so. Let's look at his stats with runners in scoring position. Now, the funny thing is his runners in scoring position is actually where his numbers take a little bit of a dip, but they're still way better than the attributes that they currently have him in in the game. So we'll talk about that in a second when we look at the attributes. But he has a 286 batting average, 333 on base, 571 slugging, and a 904 OPS, which is still elite, especially for a... Well, he plays in many different positions. The game has him currently as a third baseman, so uh it's not super elite for a third baseman but it, it's 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 still elite it's still elite let's go look at his attributes so currently they have him at a 65 70 against righties and a 42 58 uh, against lefties all this is going to get a bump including his clutch now his clutch isn't going to be as high as his contacts would but it's still going to go up pretty high and i think this card has a great chance of becoming a high silver um and an outside chance of becoming a gold depending on how uh you know how, how fast they want to upgrade this guy but he is on a historic run right now like i said barry bonds esque so who knows they have done things like this before so they very well may with this three week uh sample size so that's what i got for you going into next week remember there are a lot of more cards that i spoke about spoken about investing i have them in previous episodes i don't want to just talk about the same cards over and over again and waste you guys time make you sit through this video even longer if you've sat through my other ones already but if you haven't seen the previous videos on some of the other names i'm talking about we go like ronald cunha some of the guys on tampa like a rosarena and yanni diaz go watch those videos i go into it very in depth i have my graphics up on the screen so we're not going back and forth between the major league baseball website so it's just a lot more concise again sorry my life's been very very hectic over the past week because of the family issues that i've been having but again, thank you for viewing in. Thank you for supporting the channel. I'm, I'm so happy with all the growth that I've made in the channel over the past uh, month and a half that the game has been out. I really appreciate everyone that comes by, leaves comments, leaves likes. And of course, subscriptions are a huge thing. Helps build the channel, helps create a consistent audience. And I just want to say I appreciate all of you. And uh, thank you so much. And I will catch you on the next one. We'll see if I'm going to be able to make a video next week i want to start a new series about talking about if we're going to be holding cards buying cards or selling them right before the updates i don't know if it's going to come out next week again i don't know what the next week of my life is going to look like but we will see if i'm able to i will but i will uh catch you on the next one